trying to get the temperature of the pool up just a little bit, especially in the evening. Um, live out in the Central Valley in California. It's warm. I mean, right now it's like 86. It's noon. So I'm trying to raise the temperature of the pool. The pool is normally around 79 to 80 degrees. And uh, so I made this uh, homemade solar panel. I've watched some YouTube videos and uh, kind of took the best of everybody and something that would fit into my spot here. Some guys use a big, huge, you know, big sheet of plywood. I just didn't want to have something that big. I want something I can move around. So it's a four foot by four foot piece of exterior plywood. And then I put some pressure treated two by fours on the outside and just screwed all that together. And then I bought four coils of 100 foot drip line. And I didn't want to use a big, huge drip line because I was worried. It's just so hard to manage uh, that big a spool. It's cheaper, but it's just a pain in the ass to uh, do the big 500 foot or 400 foot coil. So you start in the center with the, the uh, drip line and you just work it out, uh, clamp it on one spot. As you can see here, I kind of clamped it and went the corner back here. And then I started just working it all the way around. And I found that if you just leave the spool of uh, drip line in the center, it works out really well. Um, but prior to that, I guess I painted everything, got some exterior paint, and painted everything black. Uh, it's a flat black. Um, it absorbs the heat a little better. And then that 4x4 four four in the center there is uh, for future mounting of some plexiglass or uh, something that I can keep the heat in and uh, raise the temperature. And I use some couplers. You can see right here, there's a coupler there. There's a coupler over there. Um, there's some, some exterior pipe there, um, conduit. But that coupler I used some clamps on and they were sharp edges and I didn't want to, I just wanted to protect my pipe so it didn't pop a hole and uh, make a big mess. There is a fountain pump in the pool there and that pumps at 500 gallons per hour. And you just you don't really want it going through here very quickly because you're trying to absorb all the heat as much as possible. So my plan is right now just to have it turned on for five minutes and then turned off for 20 to 25 minutes depending on how hot it's outside. I did buy a, a Wi-Fi outlet to turn on and off. Still trying to figure out a timer situation to turn it on and on for five minutes and off for 20 to 25 minutes. My results so far is the temperature of the pool is about 78 to 80 degrees. Right now it's about 80. And the outside, the temperature after it goes through the coils or sitting in the coils and it comes out of the coils, it was 120 degrees. So actually it's pretty good. Um, I have had it I tested at one time at going in at 80, sitting for 20, 25 minutes and then coming out 140, but that was pretty hot that day. It was like over hundred degrees outside. So like I said, I'm just trying to get, uh, to increase the temperature of the pool just by a little bit so we can get some evening swims in, uh, testing the water temperature here. Just with water, regular water temperature of the pool. And currently that it's indicating 82.4. Okay, so I turned the pump on. It takes a little time for it to come out. But here's the current temperature of the water after being sitting there for about 25 minutes. Plexiglass on top of here 
thinking it would warm up, get higher temperature. Well, the pool's being 82 degrees and then coming out at 120. That's pretty good. And you can see the pool's a big pool, so it's kind of like a little bit of a drop in the bucket. But if I can get this a couple degrees up, I'd be happy with that. I got an aluminum strip to, because there's two different panels of plexiglass. And then my, also my plan is to paint the top of all those drip pipe to get it all black to absorb even more heat. Okay, so the pool's showing about 83, almost 84. I added the plexiglass to the top of it. It's totally sealed now. Hundred and twenty, one, twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, almost hundred and thirty. Oops, there it goes. Looks like hundred and thirty-two. So I'll give you a rundown on everything here. Four foot by four foot piece of plywood on the bottom you can see then I put the pressure treated wood all the way around the edges screwed all those together 400 feet of drip line uh, I did four 100 foot spools just so it was easier to work with um, the drip line like I said at the beginning the video I started on the edge here right here and I made my way all the way around until it spools around basically what it looks like right there what you're looking at right now is a second layer um, after 400 feet I had to go a second layer or after 200 feet I had to go a second layer I bought some plexiglass put it on top to try to keep the heat inside we'll see how that works um, right now today is hundred and four degrees outside so um with 132 degrees coming out of the water there um works pretty good so put the handles on the side to work with that i'll finish painting up on the side and i do had to do a little construction um redo in the center here for supporting the two panels of plexiglass it was sagging in the middle, so I had to run a piece of wood along the center. I think it will make a little bit of a difference. I think if you were to build this and use it for a smaller pool, I think you'd have really good success. I swam in it just a little while ago, and uh, there are some spots that are, you know, warm, and then it's cold. So I don't have the uh, pump going right now, so it's not really circling things. So that's probably the reason why I'm getting the... Uh, the differential temperatures as you can see i get a lot of shade um throughout the day so that's why i built it just to try to get a, um, a few more degrees out of it so anyways hey thanks for watching i appreciate it and uh have a great day thanks